Stand by for breaking news. Science breakthrough. What you are going to see is extremely rare film footage of what is the last interview with the elderly man who is reputedly the world's oldest chemistry teacher. This has been unearthed locally after not seeing the light of day for years. But first, before we show you this earth-shattering chemistry history, a word or two from our sponsors, Fredco Heavy Industries. You lucky people, I am Fred R. Slick, the king of bling, the sultan of cell, the champion of cheap. Yes, and I am founder, indicted, but never convicted president of Fredco Heavy Industries. Heavy. And today I am just thrilled to bring you a brand new Fredco Heavy Industries product. Heavy. Here it is. Fred's Secret Formula Table Salt. We at Fredco Heavy Industries. Heavy have spared no expense, really no expense, in bringing this exciting new secret formula table salt to you, our viewing public. To develop this wonderful product, they used our exclusive ABS method. Well, even our intrepid pitch man is on to something here. ABS means an acid, plus a base will react and yield a salt and water. An example of this neutralization reaction would be hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide yielding sodium chloride, a salt, and water. And while our crack team of chemists worked day and night to develop this wonderful product, our marketing team also worked 24-7 to put together this wonderful offer. This year's supply of Fred's Secret Formula Table Salt will be available to you, our viewing audience, for only three payments of $24.95 plus shipping and handling for $15.75. What a deal. And do we stop there giving you this wonderful year supply of Fred's Secret formula, table salt. No, we give you much more. We also give you free at no additional charge, this special patented Fredco Heavy Industries secret formula table salt applicator to apply this wonderful food additive to your food. So, Everybody, send your money in right away in small denomination unmarked bills to Fredco Heavy Industries to get your year's supply of secret formula table salt and the free applicator. Hurry up. It's a limited time offer. Heavy. And now our special presentation, Al Chemist Chem History or Chem Hysteria, a documentary of interview footage lost for years. Maybe it should have stayed that way. We'll see. Well, hello folks. This is Ace Reporter Skippy Fredrickson reporting an exclusive interview with the world's oldest chemistry teacher. Gee whiz, I'm just so excited to be here. It's great. Well, thanks, young man, for coming to visit us today. It's not often we get many visitors. I can see the question on your face. Yes, I am this happy all the time. Yes. Yes, my full name is Albert R. Chemist. But my friends call me Alchemist. My friends call me, no, I know you have it already. That's right, Yippy Skippy. But you, you can call me Dr. Chemist or Sir, okay? 
Why, sure. Just think of me as a gentle old chemistry teacher who surrounds himself with gentle things like my little bird friend Sonny and my teddy bears and my, my favorite chemistry books. Why, this one I wrote myself in 1874. Yes, that's me, just a gentle old soul, here to help however I can. Those violent tendencies people may have told you about are completely gone, trust me. No, no, I don't mind questions at all. Sonny and I are up for questions at any time. Aren't we, Sonny? We don't mind if the young man asks us stupid questions, do we? No, not at all. But here, how about a cookie? Have a cookie, really. Take a cookie. Now, now you need to make sure that you speak up a little bit with this old chemistry teacher so I can hear you right, okay? Well, Dr. Chemist, people tell me that indeed you are the world's oldest chemistry teacher. Is this true? What did you say? Black and blue? Why, sure. Oh, my misunderstanding. Sorry, young fella. Yes, it is true. I am the oldest living chemistry teacher. Now, yeah, it'd be kind of not too exciting to be interviewing a stiff, though, would it? <laughs> yes, not only am I the oldest chemistry teacher, but in fact, some people say that I invented chemistry. All those chemistry greats you read about in the history books, why, they were my first students. Well, okay. What our audience would really like to know about today is something about acids and bases and what comes out of the reaction of those two, assault. Why, did you say assault? Sonny, this boy's a glutton for punishment. Gee willikers, young fella, another misunderstanding. Well, let's just see if we can give you the rundown on this acid, base, and salt thing. Now, acids, generally speaking, have a sour taste, but you don't want to go taste them. Though, with your darn fool questions, maybe we should make an exception in your case. <laughs> Don't you think, Sonny? Huh? Hmm? Okay. So, those acids, they taste sour. They change the color of acid base indicators, which is a pretty handy thing to do if you're an acid base indicator, right? Otherwise, if they didn't change color, well, shoot, that wouldn't indicate very much, would it? <laughs> okay. Now acids, when you combine them with a base, produce a salt and water. And acids also conduct electricity. So those are what you could tell the general attributes of acids. Now bases are pretty much the same thing, but they're the other way around. But now bases are bitter. Again, you don't want to be tasting them. They combine with acids to make salt and water. They change the colors of acid base indicators. And they also conduct electricity. Now, sure, the simplest definition of an acid would be a hydrogen ion donating substance. And a base, on the other hand, you could look at it two ways. You could look at it as being a hydrogen ion acceptor, or some definitions put it as being a hydroxide ion donator. So acids can be hydrogen ion donators, bases, hydrogen ion acceptors, or hydroxide ion donators.